Hi there, Waltoneers. I'm Jack, and this is DS1 Newscast, and today we have some rather unexpected news. So let's get straight into it. As Disney has officially announced, they will be moving into the world of real estate by master planning residential communities in a new initiative that they have titled Story Living by Disney. And the first of these new communities will be built in Coachella Valley in Rancho Mirage, California, and will be called Cotino. And at the center of this community will be a 24-acre Crystal Lagoon oasis, surrounded by shopping, dining, and entertainment offerings, along with a promenade and a professionally managed beach park with water activities. And most importantly, within the neighborhood, there will be a range of condos, single-family homes, and even a hotel. But wait a minute, if this all sounds eerily familiar, well, that's because Disney attempted this type of thing almost 30 years ago with the creation of a town called Celebration. As in the early 1990s, there was the Disney Development Company that worked with architectural and urban design firms to master plan the layout of a new community to be built just south of Walt Disney World Resort. And that too had a lake in the center of the town, surrounded by shopping, dining, and entertainment, and it also had a hotel as well. And that's not even where the similarities stop. As it's stated in the Story Living promotional video that Disney is not the developer, builder, or seller of these homes, which was the same case three decades earlier with Celebration. And that, as we know, led to many issues. As in the 1990s, there was such huge demand for living within a Disney-created community that the Celebration company had to bring in many more property developers to build the homes than expected. So much so that some were out-of-state developers that were not experienced at building homes in Florida, which overall led to an inconsistent quality standard for the buildings, with a civil suit filed in 2016 about leaky roofs, mold issues, and balconies becoming separated from their buildings. And so if you take into account the current supply and demand issues of the construction industry at the moment, and couple it with the expected high demand for living within a story living by Disney community, I think there's a high probability that this project might end up repeating history. However, the key difference with Celebration was that at least in that circumstance, Disney owned the land to begin with, which meant that it was an instant revenue generator. Whereas with Story Living by Disney, Walt Disney Imagineering is only helping to design and develop the new neighborhoods with residential community developer DMB Development, whilst Disney focuses on the placemaking touches, architectural flourishes, and the operation of community services with Disney cast members, which in a way kind of turns Disney into a sort of homeowner authority for this neighborhood. And here's the thing, as Disney found out with Celebration, that when you build a real world community, real world problems follow, such as theft, violence, and murder, which will take the magical sheen off the idealized community. And in the unfortunate case for Celebration, there was a series of fatal car accidents involving a retention pond at the bottom of World Drive that connected it to the town. And so, in my opinion, this is more of a Disney branding effort to capitalize upon the booming housing market that we have seen over the past year or so. Although, as we saw with Celebration, Disney eventually chose to sell their ownership of the Celebration Town in 2004, along with the removal of their branding. Mainly because of the stark contrast that's caused by putting a brand name that's synonymous with magic and idealism on a town that's inevitably going to have uncontrolled real-world happenings, which was probably one of the biggest single obstacles to Walt Disney's original vision for the city of the future in the 1960s, or otherwise better known as his experimental prototype community of tomorrow. And if you want to learn even more about Celebration's history, then I highly recommend checking out Midway to Main Street's video on the topic, which I'll leave a link to down below in the description. However, despite all those lessons from the past, it seems that Disney is set on expanding this story living initiative beyond that of just California, as there are meant to be many more across the country. And so where could the next location be? And well, in early 2021, there was a lot of talk in Jarrell, Texas, that a developer linked to Disney was interested in purchasing huge amounts of land. And putting aside the impractical rumors of Disneyland being relocated to Texas, it now seems plausible that all of that talk may have been in connection with this story living project, with it perhaps being considered as a potential development. But with this announcement, I can't help but feel that this is a strange decision by the Walt Disney Company. As with the competition of Universal Studios breathing down their necks in Orlando with the construction of their third park, Epic Universe, the last thing that you think that Disney 
Disney would want would be to take a segment of Imagineering and turn them into a pseudo-residential design firm, which they tried 30 years ago and it didn't quite live up to the fantastical expectations. And so while I appreciate this very pretty concept art for the Cotino community and will be curious to watch this develop in the future, as I always want to see Disney grow, expand and innovate, I also hope that this doesn't become a costly distraction just when Disney needs more discipline and focus than ever before within this fast-changing entertainment industry. But now, as always, it's over to you, Waltoners, as I would love to know what are your thoughts and opinions about this story living by Disney residential community idea and whether you think it's going to be either a success or a failure. And if you've enjoyed this breaking news video today, then give this video a massive thumbs up as it really does help this channel out, and perhaps share this video with a friend who also is interested in Disney. And with all that being said, I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon. Okay.